Okay, hi! <laughs> um, it's me, Hela. As you probably know. Um, so, I just wanted to make a short video and talk about, like, my birthday and stuff. Because it was my birthday last Saturday, February 8th. And I became 21. Yeah. Um, it's kind of weird to know that I'm 21. Like, I don't really feel like 21. I feel like I'm just still a teenager. <laughs> it's really weird. Um, yeah, and I'm, uh, I mean, I am mature in some ways, but other ways I still feel like a kid. So, but anyway, uh, so it was my birthday. And like I said in my last video, it was kind of like a long birthday weekend. Uh, because on Friday, I went with my mom and my sister to see Mary Poppins, the musical. Um, here in Iceland, so it was in Icelandic, of course, and I saw it, I've seen it once before, but my sister hadn't seen it before, and she wanted to go, and me and my mom just decided to go with her, because, um, we thought it was so much fun, anyways, so, and yeah, it was really fun, and I don't regret at all seeing it again, and now it's, it's over, the last show was like one or two days later, so it was like one of the last shows that we went to and it was so much fun i just love first of all i just love um musicals like seeing musical musicals live on stage you know i've seen here in iceland i've seen mary poppins the sound of music les miserables greece um and probably something else i'm forgetting but anyway, I just love it. I think my favorite though was Les Miserables because I just I could see that over and over again. I saw that twice too. It's just it's just a story that like really compels me. Um, that really just I mean the music and and the whole the characters and the whole clothing and, and the staging and, and everything is amazing but it's just like the story and you know behind it all and it just it was amazing and we had some crazy talented people here that were in the show so anyway but I'm not going to talk about that so Mary Poppins was fun and I actually got this we bought this t-shirt me and my mom we bought this t-shirt like this so I'm wearing Mary Poppins. <laughs> so, yeah, that's cool. And, um, what was I good? Okay, so on Saturday was the actual birthday, and I had planned to have some of my friends over, um, and then go to dinner on Sunday with my family. Um, and actually it was just me, my mom, and my sister who went because dad was sick and my other sister is in Denmark with my nephew. So anyway, uh, but that was really good. Um, and yeah, and on a Saturday I had my friends over and like we ate pizza and then cake, chocolate cake. And um, it was the, uh, during the evening, it was the second... Uh, Icelandic selection of Eurovision. So, okay, first of all, if you don't know what Eurovision is, the Eurovision Song Contest, uh, just Google it. Um, that you, it's uh, we're very familiar with it here in Europe, and Iceland has been participating since 1986, and we have never won, but we've been in second place twice. And anyway, and it's uh, the. Icelandic selection where we choose the song that we sent to go out uh, to Denmark this year because Denmark won last year and I was actually very shocked after the results um, because it was it was not the final it was uh, the second semi-final of the thing the final is now next Saturday um anyway I was really disappointed and shocked because all the songs, well, most of the songs that got through, I just really hated. And there are like one or two songs that I really like. But I don't think they're going to win. And I'm afraid that 
some song is gonna win that I just don't really like and I don't know I get that people have different opinions it's just like it's really the first time that I mean I haven't always been happy with the song that we've chosen I mean especially 2006 with Sylvia Knight but um but um I mean I'm not always happy with it but I mean most of the times I am <laughs> in recent years I have been but uh, but like this is like the first time that I'm just there are very few songs that are participating in the final that I just don't like at all. There are like one or two songs that I like and the other ones I just find nothing special or just completely disgusting. Um, and just, yeah. So, anyway. And I was like, I, I admit that I was like really shocked afterwards. I was like, oh my god. And actually then, um something kind of happened and I mean I but I don't think it was I mean it wasn't because or just because of that because I was shocked at the results you know of that I mean I was shocked but I don't think it was because of that but I don't know what happened all of a sudden I mean my friends were there my mom was there my sister was there um and we, we had e eaten the pizza, but not the cake, and, and my mom asked if I wanted to go and get the cake and and stuff. And I was just like, all of a sudden, I don't know why, I like, I have no idea what happened. I mean, but all of a sudden, I just started feeling really strange. And, and even though I was like in a room surrounded by people, I mean, okay, so there were my friends, like, Two of my friends, my mom and my sister. There were five of us. Okay. But I was, there were like people around me and like my friends who like I have fun with like all the time. But I felt like really lonely. I, f I felt like really alone and I just got really depressed. Like, I don't know, it was a really weird feeling and all of a sudden I just wanted to burst out and cry. Like, I'm not kidding. And we started eating the cake. And I was trying to hold it together in front of everyone. You know, because I didn't want to cry in front of everyone. Even though they all know, like, about my problems and what I've been dealing with. You know, with depression and everything. But I didn't want to, like, cry in front of all of them. So I went and um, I made some excuse to go to the kitchen. And, and I just started crying. And, like, I, I tried to keep it down because I didn't want them to hear me but my mom I mean I can't hide anything from my mom she could see or feel that something was wrong so she came and asked me what was wrong she saw tears in my eyes and there was no point in hiding it from her anymore and I just told but I told her like that I didn't know why I was feeling like this but all of a sudden I just wanted to cry like and I just I felt really horrible because it was my birthday and I was like having the time of my life like with my friends and celebrating my birthday and I just wanted to burst in tears like it was pathetic and ridiculous and I didn't know why I felt this way but anyway but um to give a long story short I started feeling better and I went back inside and finished eating the cake and and my friends stayed a little longer actually one of my friends actually uh we had a sleepover so she stayed at in mine that night and uh, I just I was ready to just tell them to go home but I thought like okay it's better to have them like especially since I'm feeling this way it's at least it's not good to be alone um and you know to have someone around um so yeah but that was that was kind of weird and I still don't know why I started feeling this way it wasn't because of the stupid Eurovision thing like I mean I hope not like I mean I'm sensitive but I'm not like that sensitive and not stuff like that can get me that depressed and just want to start crying but anyway and um, anyway so enough about that anyway and then I got um some cool gifts um from my mom and dad and well my whole family they actually pitched in because I had asked the number one thing I had asked for was a new camera because my camera is like I've had it since like my confirmation and that's like seven years ago so 
so I, and, the, and also like the the battery in my camera you know is you know blah so anyway so I asked for a new camera and so of course I, I got that I got a new camera and I'm really happy about that and of course that was a bit expensive so um so yeah and it's really good it's really good quality I can take pictures and take videos and um it has a really big memory card and um it's it's really good so so this is the camera ah that's me hi <laughs> and uh yeah and I really like it I really I really like taking pictures and um I actually have a new phone I didn't get it for my birthday but I have a phone because I haven't really yeah I know it's uh unbelievable for some people to believe but I haven't really had a phone like I had a phone for a little while when I was 16 17 maybe and then that it was just my sister's old phone and then that phone broke or something and I was always gonna get a new one but I wasn't like it was more just for like other people so that other people could reach me like my sister she was always like get a phone so I can talk to you without having to talk to mom through you or something but I wasn't really using my phone that much I mean I was mostly just on the internet and on the phone that I had before it wasn't like one of the new ones with a touch screen and stuff so the internet was really slow and whatever uh, and I wasn't really using it much to call or text or anything and I just didn't really need it um, for myself but then I was like thinking okay maybe I should get a phone like okay I am about to turn 21 and and like and my sister is always like blah blah get a phone blah blah but anyway and then uh, my sister's boyfriend bought her an, um, an iPhone and uh, so she didn't have to use her phone anymore so I got her phone and yeah that's her phone it's not like I mean I can I can do it I mean I can call I can text I can go on the internet I can download music and stuff and do all things like I'm mostly on the internet though like I don't use it much though for calling or texting it's mostly just people trying to reach me but not that many because I'm not that popular <laughs> um yeah, but anyway, so I have a new phone, and of course there's a camera on the phone, but it's not like really good quality and stuff, so so I want to have like a real camera where it's like really good quality because I love taking cameras. I love taking cameras. <laughs> I love taking pictures. I love taking cameras. Okay, okay. I think I'm high. Okay, I'm always high. Anyway, just kidding. Anyway, so so I got this camera and <laughs> and then oh for my friends friends I got this thing to put over my head when I'm outside and I'm cold. It's it's really nice and it's really comfortable. I prefer that instead of like a hat or something. And it's really cool. And they also gave me a necklace, but it I don't remember where I put it. Anyway, and then from my family I got well I got this, Mary Poppins, the the soundtrack to the musical, the C D. And I also got some DVDs, mostly like TV series. I got Revenge Season 2. This is Season 2 of Revenge. I love the show. Mm hmm. Season 2. And then also Season 2 of Dallas. Season 2 of Dallas. I love Dallas too. It's the new show, new show not the old one. Um, and then I got the Vampire Diaries. It's uh, season three. Season three. Yeah. I have season one and two. I have season three, and but I still haven't got season four. So I'm obsessed with this show. But right now I'm even more obsessed with the originals. Ugh. And like, but I want so many shows on DVD. Like I, I have like Desperate Housewives Lost. Um, my sister actually has one Tree Hill, but I want that too. And I want like Beverly Hills, the old series. I want, I want like, um, oh my God, I want so many. I want Pretty Little Liars. I like, I want so many shows. Oh, I have Glee too. Yeah. Anyway, and then I got, I, I'm, um, so I have Harry Potter one and two for my, um. The books. I, the books. I mean, Harry Potter 1 and 2, the books. I actually got them for Christmas because I didn't have the books. My sister had the books. Um, I actually had the last book, but I haven't got the others. So I had 1 and 2, and then I got 3 and 4 now for my birthday. The books. I love them. 
And uh, so yeah, that's all I got. And then, oh yeah, and then I got the cards and I got this really cute card for my friend. Uh, well, my friends who wrote it. Uh, and it's like, um, yeah, basically she's just, she like wrote a whole, like, I don't know, three or four pages, like uh, things just telling me what a good friend I am and how awesome I am. And it was just, uh, I wanted to cry when I, when I read it. Anyway, and that's, pretty cool yeah but and then I have my camera <laughs> and anyway so that was pretty cool so okay so so that's basically it but uh, but yeah overall it was just a great weekend a great birthday weekend and even though there was a little like crying thing and stuff um, that I got over it pretty quickly so that was um that was that yeah so anyway, and that's just basically what I wanted to talk about. And now I'm just, uh, my friends just left and, um, my friend was actually, I was like, I was sleeping. I was so tired. I just fell asleep and I also had a bit of headache and stuff. And then I was like, like a corpse or something. And then she started like doing my makeup and like <laughs> putting shit on me. She wanted to dress me up too. And I was just like, ah, oh, no, I'm not in the mood. Uh. And I was like, ugh. She basically had to drag me to get have dinner. Like it was blah. I'm like, I'm so lazy. I'm so lazy all the time. Anyway, and right now I'm just not really doing anything. Um Oh yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. I've been watching, oh my god, the Neon Lights tour has started and I've been watching like videos from Neon Lights Tour. I've been watching from like Vancouver and San Jose and I still have to watch some from San Jose and then she's uh, there's a concert tonight but I can't remember where it was I I have to check online but like oh my god how much I want to go I want to go to the Neon Lights like I I think that we serious we seriously need to get Demi to Europe we need to get her sexy ass to Europe like right fucking now okay and she needs to come, like, she's always in South America, especially Brazil and blah, blah, and then she's gone to Canada, and she's gone to the UK a few times, like, the rest of us in Europe want her, and Australia wants her, like, she has crazy, amazing fans in Australia who want to see her, and, and New Zealand, and, and probably Asia, and Africa, and, like, oh my god, she just, she has to travel the whole world and have tours, like, and especially in Europe, because, like, you know, Europe is the best, but anyway, like, she has to go, like, if Hollywood Records records doesn't let her go to Europe, I'm gonna go there and kill them, like, seriously, I'm gonna kill them, okay, so, guys, everyone in Europe and Australia, wherever you're from, you, we have to help each other get her to where we live, okay, because, like, we need to see her, because this, like, like, this tour is, like, amazing, like, oh my god, God, she's just such a queen on that stage and singing her new songs and her old songs and oh my god and I was just crying like and when she sing believe in me like she hasn't sung that in so many years and I'm just like I think I mean if I would have been there I would have literally died like oh my god I was just oh it's just so beautiful okay 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 just okay we have to get her to Europe Okay, so Demi to Europe. Okay, Operation Fun. Okay, so anyway, it's a freaking amazing tour. So yeah, I'm probably gonna watch more videos from the Neon Light store and stuff. And then I, I still have to watch Pretty Little Liars and the originals, the last episodes. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm not high, I promise. I'm just really excited because I love Demi so much and the tour is just so fucking amazing. Oh, she's so beautiful. She's so talented. She's like perfect. I know she's not perfect, but still she is. Seriously. Like, oh my god. If I were a lesbian, she could really make me a lesbian. I'm not even kidding. Oh, you want to see the picture I have of her? Like, okay, you want to see the desktop on my phone? It's this, it's a picture of Demi. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a picture of Demi from when she came out of treatment. Like, the first pictures that were taken of her when she came out of treatment. 
and it's like a picture of her smiling at just, it's one of my favorite pictures ever because she looks just so beautiful and so healthy and happy and I just love it better and then I have this picture I don't know if you can see it it's um on front of the cosmopolitan uh cover on the magazine and like her boob she has like this huge cleavage and I just I just want to lick them I'm not even kidding like if anyone could make me a lesbian it's Demi like seriously and I know that my dad would kill me if I told him that I was a lesbian but I don't fucking care like I seriously would would go lesbian for Demi I'm not even kidding okay so I'm gonna stop talking now and goodbye and stay strong <laughs> bye